welcome back to Blam, where each week we get together to hear a Bible story, to watch a Bible story video, to praise God through music, and to share prayer together. My name is Mrs. Love, and I serve as the children's minister at First St. Charles United Methodist Church. Because it is the month of February, our faith word is guide. A guide is someone that shows us the way, just as Jesus, who we call the light of the world, shows us how we are to live. Our story today comes from the book of Luke. Does anybody know where the book of Luke is? That's right. The book of Luke is in the Bible, in the New Testament. And this is a story about two sisters. Do you have any brothers and sisters? I have four sisters. So I kind of understand this story. And if you have brothers and sisters, you will too. It's a really interesting story. The story today is about two sisters called Mary and Martha. Jesus and his followers were traveling and they needed a place to rest. Jesus had two friends named Mary and Martha who invited Jesus and his friends to stay at their house. When Jesus arrived, Mary ran right over and sat at the feet of Jesus to listen to him. And Martha was in the kitchen cooking food and then she served everyone the yummy food. Mary was very tired. She was doing all of the work while Mary was just sitting and enjoying Jesus' company. Martha did not think this was fair. Jesus, it is not fair that Mary is not helping me. Tell her to help me, said Martha. Martha, what Mary is doing is important too, Jesus said. Mary has chosen to listen closely to me and to learn about God. Sometimes it is better to sit and be with me. Hmm. We will learn more about this story from our friend Samuel in the Bible story video, and then sing the song for February, which is Jesus Loves the Little Children, and then come back and we're gonna talk just a little bit more about this story and share a prayer together. Hi everyone, it's Samuel. This is the story about two different sisters. Jesus comes to visit his friends. Mary and Martha, at their home to have a meal. Martha is making sure the house is perfect. She's cooking and cleaning, and making sure Jesus feels welcome. On the other hand, Mary is sitting with Jesus. She's listening to his stories and learning from his teaching. Mary and Martha are both trying to make sure Jesus has a great stay with them, and they're doing it their own way. There's only one problem. Martha gets really upset that Mary is sitting with Jesus. She doesn't understand how Mary can just relax and talk while she's doing all the work to prepare the meal. Just like Martha, it can be very easy for us to judge people if they don't act how we would act or how we think they should act. Martha was mad at her sister Mary because she wasn't helping her. But Martha didn't realize that Jesus didn't come for a meal he came to have a relationship and a conversation with them. One time, I was going to a friend's birthday party. I wanted to get the perfect gift. I was looking for it all day and finally got it. But I was too late to the party. I thought the perfect gift would make me a good friend. My friend was grateful for the gift, but I could tell my friend was sad that I had missed so much of the party. Sometimes you forget just being with a friend is enough. Martha showed Jesus love by preparing their home. Mary showed Jesus love by sitting down and listening to him. Mary and Martha are both guides who showed us different ways to be with Jesus and connect to God. Now it's time for you to wonder.
children dear, come to me and never fear, for I love the little children of the world. I will take you by the hand, lead you to the better land, for I love the little children of the world. So, what did you think about the story of Mary and Martha? Who did the right thing? Was it Martha who was in the kitchen cooking and caring for others and serving food? Was it Mary who sat at the feet of Jesus and listened and learned about God? Both of them showed love for Jesus Sometimes we show love for Jesus by doing for others. Sometimes we show love for Jesus by reading the Bible and learning about the words of guidance Jesus has for us. Think about that. Ask your parents what they think about this story. Are you a Mary or a Martha? Now let us go to our God in prayer. Let us fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the stories of Jesus and the story of Mary and Martha today. Help us to remember that sometimes the best thing we can do is read stories from the Bible and listen for the guidance of Jesus. Amen. See you next week. Bye.